Hi, I'm Justin Orndorff at BaseballRebellion.com. I'm Will Fox, uh, Director of Performance here at ITS Baseball. Uh, with us today we have John Bones, <clears throat> who's going to help us out a little bit with the demonstration, um, following up on the article. So, I want Justin to go ahead here, begin the positions, just to recap what we've been talking about. Uh, so, this is more of a Kimbrel, okay, he's got this 90-90 thing going. Uh, and imagine his body trying to accelerate and almost separating this. That force is going to cause this posterior motion at the elbow almost strictly into this valgus stress, which we're going to talk about here in, more in depth on John Bones. Uh, now, Justin, go ahead and assume the position that you teach here in the building. And this, this is the Rivera position as yeah, well. It's a little more synonymous with Rivera. And actually, you're going to have a little more of a bleak force here, okay, just based on um, the way his, his elbow is oriented here. And as, as I said in, in a second, we're going to talk about this a little more in depthly. But from here, he's just going to kind of go straight out into that extension, okay? So as we move to John Bones, Justin, if you can hold that. Okay, now Kimbrell, as you can see in the picture previously, is he's going to have his chest bowed out. And the ball, the real ball is here. Okay, so as he gets this maximal layback in this position, this is a problem, okay? Because our elbow doesn't do this. Really, we're meant to do this at the elbow. Elbow is one of the joints with very limited degrees of freedom anywhere but flexion extension. Okay, so you can see how this is problematic, especially for this ulnar collateral ligament that we're talking about here. Okay, so say it wraps like that approximately. As he goes through this force, it's going to cause this excessive eccentric stress, okay, which we know as a that's a blowout, and then people get Tommy John surgery, okay? So it's in our best interest not to let that happen, which, in my personal opinion, the mechanics he teaches here um, and the ones that Mariano exemplifies in the video kind of deviate from that. So you're going to see a little more side bend here, and basically this allows this whole girdle here to get an entirely different position, okay? So as he's, as he's coming through, now, Justin, would you say that's... This is ideal. So that's about the layback, okay? So you can see... Because we're in this position, the force now, even if he was a little more up here, wherever it is, give or take, the force is going to be a little more oblique to this axis here, okay? And because of that, it's going to push us into a little more of a natural degrees of freedom, what we have. So as we zoom in here, this is more Kimbrel, okay? Now, because of the force that occurs in this position, we're a little more oblique. So now we're actually starting to pick up some more natural motion here at the elbow, which is much better on our body. Okay, now, Justin, you want to say anything about how you bring about velocity in this process? Well, first, I just want to talk about, you know, Will and I collaborate all the time because we are we're constantly in search of the best way for any pitcher to completely support the arm through the acceleration phase. So when he goes into that maximal external rotation that we're talking about, we want him to be supported through his scaps, his lats, his core, and his hips, okay? And that's going to allow the thrower to achieve the most support into his throw. And guys, and, and there's a lot of talk about, you know, the positions that have come about. There's a lot of people using this biomechanical model saying, well, this is the best way to maximize velocity as well. But the truth of the matter is nobody's really come up with another system um, in order to, you know, to match that or see, and that's what we've got going here, okay? So at the end of the day, uh, we're getting things, a lot of the force producers in our trunk are a little more active, um, and, you know, hopefully, potentially produce the same velocity with much less stress on the body. Because overall, much, many throwers cue, you know, entirely their arm to accelerate the force into the throw, and they really haven't been trained, and more than likely, don't think about using the trunk, the obliques, and the core to generate the force um, and velocity. 